Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to get through the Kiyu Yoyu Shrine, which is called Fire and Ice, and it's right up here on Rowan Plain near the Forgotten Temple. Okay, so this is a fun shrine, although it can be a touch annoying. So the first thing we want to do is take this big old ice cube, and then we want to just run it in and out of these flame jets. We just want to melt it down a little bit. We don't want it to go full melt. And then we want to slot it in here and place it on this switch. You can even do this with a, with a smaller ice cube. It doesn't have to be that big. All right. When you're in here, you're going to notice that there's a treasure chest up there. I've already gotten it. I'm just re-recording this footage. So you want to ride this wind stream here. And then you'll notice that there is a chimney spawner that is just dumping ice cubes to be melted. So you want to pick up this uh, slab. Whoa. Pick up this slab. And then you want to place it in the alcove just like that. Take the ice cube. Pull it out. And we're not done just yet. Now you want to take the slab. Rotate it again. Rotate it flat. And then place it on top of the ice cube. And you want to stick it there using a tach. Mm, not satisfied with that. That's better. Okay. Once you do that, you then want to place it on these spikes. And if you were to place the slab on these spikes, it wouldn't move. These only move on the ice, or only the ice moves on this. So once it's there, just go ahead and let go. And then you can follow it down. And it'll slide a distance, but that's okay. And then the next thing you want to do is actually detach the ice cube from the slab. And then you want to use the ice cube to climb this. And then you can actually use the slab again. Hello. That might be damaged. Okay. You can use the slab again to climb up here. Alright. There you go. Then you can open up the chest. Okay. So... Next thing you want to do is you want to reattach the slab to the ice cube. You want to do it flat, just like you did before, right in the middle. And you really want to make sure that that's in the middle. Yeah, see how it's not? The reason for that is because we need to place this underneath the flame jets and make it so the flames hit the slab and not the ice cube. Because the flame jets in the distance over there are actually shooting down onto a really big switch. So you need to very carefully align this ice cube with the flame jets, but above the switch. Otherwise, it's going to melt. So once you feel confident, just push it in. And then let it go. And that's it. That's the shrine. This took me a little while to figure out because that ice cube kept melting, but it's because the switch is so big and sticks so far out of the ground that sometimes the ice cube will hit it, it'll tilt, and then the ice cube will melt. But that's it. That's the shrine. All right. I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, you can do so by becoming a channel member by clicking the join button below this video. You can also leave a super thanks by clicking the heart icon below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.